you see that first you have to generate a wallet. So I'm just going to make a quick example. Well, first you have to agree to the terms and conditions. And the terms and conditions are mostly because they have a coin joint service, uh, there's some terms and conditions. But like I said, the risks are not very high because you, you are protected by the fact that they're never holding your coins. You're always in control of your coins. And also they cannot de-anonymize you. So if you agree, and uh, you have, first of all, you have to create a password and the password is needed even if you have your 12 words because it acts like a 13 word that get, uh, gets added on top. So you have to conserve both pieces. And the password, you have to enter it every time you want to access the wallet or let's say make a transaction. So let's say I create a, a random password. So here you see I get show my words and normally I would have to write them. I'm not going to write them because I'm not going to use this wallet. So I would have to write these words down and I would have to write my password. So I click on, I wrote down my recovery words. And now that I have, now I click on this wallet, um, I go on load wallet and I click on this wallet. Okay, so now I'm on the wallet. Normally, I would have to first receive coins. So here you'd say test coins or whatever you want to know, name them, and then you can generate an address. It immediately copies it, but then I could click and copy it again. I could, I would have to send some Bitcoin here. Then I would have to go on CoinJoin. And in CoinJoin, my coins would show as different amount of coins. So it all depends how much I send. If let's say I send first one Bitcoin, it would show one Bitcoin. Let's, but let's say I send 10 times 0.1 Bitcoin, then it would show 10 times 0.1 Bitcoin. That's how Bitcoin works in different coins, right? So let's, and they would all say like, these are not private or not mixed yet because I haven't passed them through Wasabi uh, mixing. So I click on one normally, and you can also select all. And then you have to do enter your password and you have to click on Q NQ selected coins, which means I want them, I want my coins that I've selected to participate in the coin join round that will begin soon. And you see this coin join round here is the status, and you can see the minimum requirement is 0 0.95, 0 0.095 Bitcoin. And you can also see that the coordinator fee is 0 0.03, 0 0.003 per anonymity set. So like I was saying earlier, the, the amount of fee is around 0 0.15 in this case because there's 55 peers. So you'd have to do 0.003% times 55, which is a little bit over 0 0.15. In some cases, and because there's only 55 registered peers, in some cases where there's 100 peers, you would have the fee be 0.3%. So that's how you know exactly how much fee you're gonna pay at this precise moment. So then after that, I, I'm, I don't have coins, so I cannot participate in this, but normally this would take around 15, 20 minutes for the transaction to be confirmed on the Bitcoin network. And then your coins would show as private and you would have them here. And then you can always send coins to another wallet, but you have to beware because let's say you've mixed 2.1, we'll call them UTXOs or coins, and now you have two private coins, right? Of 0.1 amount. And then you go and send, but you click both and you send them to one address. Well, now someone that has that is analyzing the blockchain knows that a person who mixed coins out of this round and got two exits, two coins, is now sending both to the same address. So now they know that it must be the same person who owns both, right? So you got to beware whenever you're spending coins after mixing not to link them together once again, right? So, and this is a, a normal uh, Bitcoin wallet. And also at the beginning, instead of doing what I did of generating a wallet, I could have also just went on load wallet 
And if I had a hardware wallet connected to my computer, which I don't, the hardware wallet would just appear here and ledger. And then I could send the Bitcoins that I've just mixed to my ledger on Wasabi wallet itself. Actually, excuse me, I would have to go on hardware wallet. There's a different tab for that. So, and that's how Wasabi wallet works. You can, I'm gonna show you the website. You can install it for Mac, Linux, and Windows. It's also open source, so you can, let's say, build it from source. And you have a docu some documentation here, uh, right on the website, that can easily explain all the steps, and but also it talks about the more advanced steps and how the technology works behind the scenes, right? So this is, I'm gonna show you what a transaction looks like uh, let's say this was what this one was made around a year ago in Wasabi, and you see that it begins here. We're gonna look at the outputs, those that are exactly equal. And you see it begins here, and it goes all the way down to. It's really long. It goes all the way down to 99. So there's 99 outputs that are exactly the same. So if you enter this round and someone's trying to follow you, they would have one chance out of 99. So that's how Wasabi Wallet works. 